Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm representing a collaboration between Cornell University and Siemens Corporate Technology to describe our work on learning compositional visual concepts with mutual consistency. Motivated by the common challenge of data scarcity in computer vision problems, we are interested in smart data augmentation schemes based on concept learning. For example, as shown in the set of same data, multiple latent variables such as changing illumination or geometry are encoded for each data sample. Well, we often do not have samples from the joint space when available, and it would be appealing to be able to decompose known data by learning multiple concepts and to recombine them to generate physically meaningful but unseen data. Well, existing game-based approaches have demonstrated impressive image synthesis performance by capturing domain distributions. Such learn mappings may now be easily transferable to different input distributions without the second training, and therefore may lead to a weak compositionality. In order to achieve semantic shuffling of data efficiently, we propose a concept learning model where we make the compositionality of the learned concepts a principled and explicit part of our model. The proposed concept game is modeled as a four-vertex cyclic graph, where a pair of concepts, each described as a set of forward and inverse mappings, are jointly learned between four subdomains of latent variations. In particular, no pairwise correspondence is required for data samples between any two subdomains. And our goal is to generate realistic samples over all four subdomains under the assumption that one of the subdomains has no training data. To encourage the transferability and the compositionality of concepts learned, we extend the cycle consistency idea of cycle game to further constrain the model with distance for cycle consistency loss. For example, consider a face image. We would like to be able to reconstruct the face of the same identity after adding eyeglasses, adding bumps, taking away eyeglasses, and taking away bumps. The model also includes a commutative loss, enforcing commutative composition of concepts to encourage capturing semantic shifts which would correspond to commutative operators in the latent space. Examples of plausible synthesis as 128 by 128 resolution are presented with respect to the concepts eyeglasses and bounds. In the rest of the slides, we demonstrate the synthesis results over multiple experiments with 64 by 64 images. <coughs> in particular, image synthesis along the path demonstrating clockwise cycle consistency, counterclockwise cycle consistency, and the commutative property are presented and the performance in the target subdomain with no training data available are highlighted. The concept composition can be easily extended to three concepts by directly composing results learned pairwise from two independent experiments. We also evaluate the transferability of the learned concepts by directly applying models trained with CELEB A phase data to the independent testing data of MS CELEB 1 million and labeled phase in the wild. The capability of the model is demonstrated in application of data augmentation for phase verification problem. Comparing to the results of one-shot phase verification with L2 ranking, we demonstrate that the performance of black box baseline systems can be efficiently improved at multi-shot problems with data augmented by the proposed model especially when there is apparent change in the original crop and the gallery pair. Further examples and more extensive discussions can be found at our poster at D17. Thanks for all your attention.